I want to dispel three more myths. Myth number one, hyperbaric oxygen can cure everything. As the cells get more oxygen, they're capable of doing more work. And each of our systems, as they increase their work capacity, function better. It increases cellular and tissue performance. This results in a myriad of different patients reporting so many different and varied responses. To an untrained eye, it may appear that hyperbaric is the cure for everything, but most definitely it is not. It is just a foundational tool that delivers a required nutrient that all of our cells need for our bodies to heal, repair, and regenerate. In fact, if we narrow down the overwhelming majority of diseases and conditions, it comes down to three things. Controlling inflammation, improving mitochondrial function, and then stimulating the repair and regenerative mechanisms of our cells and tissues. And it just so happens that hyperbaric actually plays a significant role in all three of those areas. Myth number two. Hyperbaric is great for weight loss. In fact, while I do think it improves cellular metabolism by itself, I don't think it will have much of an impact on weight gain or weight loss almost at all. And lastly, for this video, myth number three, other oxygen therapies are just as good as hyperbaric. In fact, they're actually easier to obtain and less expensive. I'm just going to use those instead. These different oxygen therapies are also terrific, but it's important to recognize that there's different tools for different purposes. But to say that EWAT is just a less expensive hyperbaric chamber, or ozone is going to create the exact same changes as hyperbaric, or breathing oxygen at the surface is less expensive and easier and equally effective as hyperbaric oxygen is just inaccurate. But if the goal is to deliver the highest level of oxygen inside of our bodies for the purposes of healing and regeneration, no tool even comes close to what's possible with the hyperbaric chamber.